Ohio State Fair will have a selection of giant vegetables. Comedian Bill Hicks will be here, and queen of the night, Diane Brill, will be joining us later in this program. Mitch Ryder will be here. And now it's time for stupid human tricks. We, have, we haven't done this in a while. Let me explain. This is a group of fine folks who have learned and uh, silly little tricks that they've taught themselves. Um, this is not an exhibition. This is a competition. Wagering is encouraged. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to our first participant, Thomas Von Bokel. Bokel, Bokal, Bokal, Thomas, nice to meet you. Where are you from, Thomas? I'm from Belleville, Illinois. Mm -hmm. What do you do for a living there? I'm a student. I go to Southern Illinois University. What are you studying there? Industrial technology. Home of the Salukis. Exactly. An Egyptian racing dog. That's right. Thank you very That's much. Right. I hope you enjoyed your trip. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> um, what year are you there? I'm a senior. Good. Now, and you've taught yourself a silly little trick here. Exactly. What is that, Tom? Uh, I take a glass beer pitcher filled with iced tea. And, uh, now, I is it iced tea or beer? It's iced tea tonight. But normally when you do it, it's beer? Uh, on occasion, yes. And how many of those can you consume full of beer? Uh, I've done two or three. Mm -hmm. And then it's what, paramedics and an ambulance? <laughs> it's usually the corner or something. Oh uh, all right, you got a, a pitcher there, and this is iced tea? Yes. All right, is that brewed or instant? Uh, it's out of the can. <laughs> oh, God, doesn't that look good? And it's clear as a bell, too, isn't it? <laughs> right. <laughs> this is what the East River looks like all the time. Uh, all right, uh, Thomas, you need a drum roll or anything for this? Uh, whatever. Okay, how about a drum roll, Stephen? Oh, my God. Your folks, your folks are certainly getting the most out of their tuition. Right? <laughs> uh, let's take a look at this again. Are you going to be all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, geez, <laughs> that's unbelievable. Here he is, Thomas Von Bokel from Carbondale, Southern Illinois. Nice job, Tom. Thanks Thank for you. being here. Thank Appreciate you. it. Nice to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, our next participant, Liz Wax Waxler, I believe. We'll find out. Liz, come on out. Waxler? Waxler. Nice to see you, Liz. How are you? Uh, where are you from, Liz? Westport, Connecticut. Westport? What do you do for a living? I'm at school. I'm at Syracuse University. Mm -hmm. What are you studying there? Psychology and advertising. Uh -huh. do, uh, do people at your school do things like Tom was doing? A lot more. <laughs> they do that a lot more? Or a lot bigger container? Like a yeah, barrel or something? Swimming pools. <laughs> like a galvanized tub? <laughs> Uh, but Liz, you're not going to do that for us tonight, are you? No. What are you going to do? I'm going to sing Part of Somewhere Over the Rainbow with my mouth totally closed. <laughs> with it totally closed. So this is, uh, actually this is ventriloquism, No, it's isn't not, because it? ventriloquists use a mouth. So I'm just doing it with my mouth totally closed. They I do it, they keep their mouth partially closed. Partially closed, like this. Yeah, so you yeah. can't really tell, but right. they're really open. Close your, close your mouth and show me how it's going to be closed. <laughs> like any other ordinary closed mouth. That's true. Somewhere over the rainbow. Do you need music? No. All right, Liz Waxler. Take it away, Liz, with her mouth closed. <laughs> like a, a terrible dental accident, didn't it? Uh, do we have a Gary Egri? I know I'm not getting that name right. Gary, come on out here and tell me how you pronounce your name. Egri? Egri, I got it right. Nice to see you. 
Uh, where, where are you from, Gary? South of Long Island. Mm -hmm. What do you do for a living? I'm a student. Mm -hmm. Univers uh, University of Maryland. What are you studying there? Pre-engineering. Uh -huh. And you look sharp in that shirt. <laughs> um... <laughs> uh, you know, this is, this is televised all across oh, North America. <laughs> so you got a really nice shirt. <laughs> Uh, okay, Gary, what are you going to do for us tonight? I uh, spin a tray on my right finger. Mm -hmm. What would you have worn if this was going to be a wedding? <laughs> oh, this is nice. All right, thank you very much. All right, Gary, let's get on uh, with it here. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna... Say someone had passed away in your family. <laughs> <laughs> Gary will spin a tray while balancing three matchbooks on a box of cigarettes. All right. All right. You knew you were coming, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, now. You want a drum roll here? No, no, I, I just talked to her. Um, it looks very simple. The trick is... Oh, yeah, it does look simple. Yeah. <laughs> the trick is to pivot your ring finger and your middle finger without lifting them off the table and lifting up the matchbook with your pointing finger and your pinky. Good Lord. While spinning a tray. <laughs> now, now the trick is... <laughs> I think Gary is one of those circus people Leno was talking about. <laughs> the trick is to pick up the, the middle one, <laughs> uh, take the third one, yeah. and place it between the other two. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Very impressive. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. Here we go. There it is. Moving the match, uh, match is into place. Thank you very much, right. Gary. Nice meeting Thanks you. Right. Good luck with your wardrobe. Yeah, you can take that. Right. We have time? One more? Adam Friedman, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Friedman. Hi, Adam. How are you? Nice to see you. Where are you from, Adam? New Rochelle, New York. Mm -hmm. And uh, do, you, do you work? Are you a student or both? I'm a student. What do you, where do you go to school? Colgate. Uh huh. What are you studying? Nothing, really. Yeah, boy. <laughs> and, and I bet you get pretty good grades, too, don't you? All right, Adam, let's uh, show the folks what you're going to do here. It says okay. here you're going to uh, sit, flip a grape into your mouth. Yeah, well, Is that a good description? Not really. All right, of course. I, well, I have these two boxes here, and I have a lever. Okay, I stick the lever on top of the block of wood. This is a simple tool, isn't it? Okay, I have the grape. I put it right here. <laughs> Step back. To Colgate. This man attends Colgate. It's not a state school exactly. It's Colgate. <laughs>